Wowza. Wow. Wowza Rooney. I could not have seen this coming. So, um, what's good, guys? I've talked a lot about mobile games lately on my channel, even though I don't. I was going to say play them much. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I don't play them at all. I really don't. And despite that, I've been covering it because Final Fantasy Square Enix, they've really been hammering home that presence. I've talked about it a lot. I've talked about a Knight's Tale, a King's Tale with 15, Brave Exvius, Mobius, everything else that is coming through the pipeline. Um, uh, Legends 2, um, or Dimensions 2. And I even went on a podcast lately with FF Union to specifically talk about what mobile games could I see coming off of the FF7 remake. If you haven't seen that episode, go check it out over on FF Union's um, channel. That was a really fun podcast. But now there's this, guys, and this is huge. So, uh, Gamatsu, Jamatsu, I've never known <laughs> which one it is. They've just announced that Final Fantasy XV is going to be a massively multiplayer online game on the mobile EOS so mobile strike developer machine zone is working with Square Enix to create an MMO mobile game based on FF15 it's going to include everything from the characters the storyline the soundtrack the world everything guys and for anyone who doesn't know machine zone technology that is the technology that allows millions of people around the world all to play in one single universe. Oh, go googly moogly. Oh, <laughs> so we were talking about FF15 becoming co op and maybe having four friends to uh, experience EOS with. There's now going to be millions of people in EOS. Millions. I can't express quite how bummed I am that this is a mobile game. I'm gonna have to um, play this now. Uh, I kind of got away with it when they said that mobile uh, Mobius was coming to PC. Not anymore. I don't even know how to compute this in my brain just yet. This is huge. Um, and at the end of the day, how do I feel about it? I feel good for you. Good. Uh, I know that there's going to be some people who could be really negative about this. Uh, I kind of spoke about this about the FF7 remake. I could anticipate they would turn almost every mini game in FF7 remake into a mobile game between the episodic installments. Uh, so they would do it, then they'd do it as a mobile, then they'd bring it onto the next episodic installment. That would kind of work with how the original game worked. So the submarine event, you would do it, then it would be locked in the Golden Sorcerer for a while. And then you would get it. And I would have thought that's that's how Square would do it. And at the end of the day, they're doing this because it's big, big bucks, big dollars. Let's go three years back. I would be scared of this article because they were saying once upon a time that pretty much everything was going to move over to console. Square Enix were legitimately saying that they were pretty much almost going to be abandoning the console. Um, scene that was pretty much not working out and they were going to go all over and FF15 was going to be the last ditch attempt so I would have been frightened now uh, luckily that is moved away from that completely and it now seems like mobile and console is working harmoniously together so I haven't got a problem I don't see it as a cash grab I can already preempt the words below um, it's not guys at the end of the day developers need to make money if they do it by creating a product that people are going to buy, then who the fuck is to say otherwise? This is dope. This could be huge. If you like mobile games, oh my god, go ham. I, this could even get me into mobile gaming. If anything is going to, this will be it. I can't compute this information. Um, <laughs> just, sorry guys, I got all these new things that I want to show them off. This is completely unrelated. Check what one of our peasants sent me today. Not just that, this is from Vogue Gear. Shout out to Vogue and John B sent me this. I love you guys. Um, I can't, you know when you see YouTubers do un openings of gifts that their fans have sent in? I never in a million years thought I would be, I'd never get shit. Uh, so I am so humbled and I know this has nothing to do with this video, but really thank you guys. Thank you for all the support. Um, I would love to play co-op in 15. And now that there could be millions of us, oh, peasants, we're just going to have to do it, aren't we? We're just going to have to get on mobiles. <laughs> we're just going to do this. So, yeah, guys, let me know how you feel about FF15 having millions of players all in the one universe of EOS. I can't even. Until the next video, guys. Come on!